IoT is something that a lot of enterprises are grappling with, and it's specifically the IT departments. They're being asked by other departments to put IoT devices on the network, and a lot of times they don't know the vulnerabilities. But they have such strong benefits for the enterprise that the IT guys have to take these requests seriously. Well, for example, uh, some of our enterprise customers are retail stores, and the whole uh, object is to make money or save money. And so when you're trying to engage the customer, uh, improve customer experience, to try to get them to spend more money. Analytics are important. IoT is a great way to be able to collect analytics on an enterprise's customers to help improve that process. IoT security is a big deal for the IT guys. They know how to deal with a laptop. With IoT devices, they're so heterogeneous that they have different operating systems, different memory capabilities. You don't have clients that you can put on IoT devices. So rather than try to use their old school ways of what they do with traditional enterprise devices, they really have to start looking at new ways of doing it, such as what we call software-defined perimeter. When they have such different operating systems, different memory requirements, is really about isolating them and preventing them from being accessed without authorization from the outside world, and also preventing them from talking to other devices on the inside. Most enterprises we work with use traditional networking to connect their branches and connect different locations. But when you're adding IoT equipment to those locations, what we're seeing is there's traditional embedded PC with digital signage, but there's a front door switch with an IoT device. You have temperature sensors, uh, Bluetooth beacons, Wi-Fi analytics. There's a variety of IoT devices, IoT sensors, IoT machines that need to be put on the network. That's where software-defined perimeter comes in because now you can set up an overlay private network that leverages your existing internet connections but creates a software-defined perimeter, a software-defined network that is invisible to the outside world and isolates those devices from other enterprise resources. IoT, when you look at branch, when you look at vehicle and other machine deployments, there's a lot of similarities. Uh, a lot of them want to be able to have a secure private network so whatever data is running over there, it's, it's not going to be accessible by hackers outside. But second, uh, both represent a mix of traditional devices and IoT devices. And so you need the flexibility to be able to deal with a low power solution, a high bandwidth solution, all in the same local environment, and then get that to the cloud as fast as you can.